What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843, back with a bonus video. Today's Monday, and it's the start of Arcade Pinball Vending Coin Op and All Things Cool Auction Week. That's right guys, this Saturday, which is August the 6th, Sevierville, Tennessee, there's an Arcade Pinball Coin Op, Claw Machine, Coin Pusher, Jute Box, you name it guys. It's going to be an auction in Tennessee, and we're going to be there guys. So here's how it's going to break down. This week, it's Auction Week. We're not going to do a daily video. We're going to do a bonus video today. This is our Sam's Club video. Then we're going to do a regular collection video on Wednesday. And of course, the preview live stream, the preview walkthrough video on Saturday. And then the ultimate arcade auction results video on Sunday. So if you like these types of videos, guys, this is a good week to subscribe to Galaxy Games 843. All right, with that said, we're going to kick off auction week with this late Monday bonus video. Here's Sam's Club for vending. Hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy the show. All right, guys, here we are at Sam's Club. This is in Charleston, South Carolina. So your Sam's Club might be a little bit different than my Sam's Club. But anyway, Sam's Club is like the next town over from where my shop is. So it's, sometimes it's kind of a pain to get here, especially with traffic. But here we are. Now, this video was filmed back in May. This video was filmed when we were stocking up the snack machine at the truck accessory shop after we had just installed the credit card reader and upgraded the machine to be able to take the credit card reader. Then we went home and did the, the MDB codes. This day is this is the same day we were shopping for that machine because we were gonna go fill it up in the next video. So here we are, we're taking a look around Sam's Club. We're seeing what all they have for sale, talking about things that would go well in machines, looking at prices. As you can see, there's like the, the chocolate area, right? So we've got Snickers, Twix, Three Musketeers, um, Peanut M&Ms, regular M&Ms, Reese Cups, all kinds of stuff. And all these things are definitely great for vending machines, obviously. But look at their selection compared to what we saw at Costco and even much better than what we saw at BJ's Wholesale. Um, there's a couple other things I use, as you saw down at the bottom there. There are some Skittles. Those are the Wild Berry Skittles. We use those at the barbershop location. It looks like they were actually out of the regular Skittles. Since then, they are now back in stock but for a while they were difficult to find. We're gonna go ahead and grab a box of wild berry Skittles while we're here. And we are gonna do some shopping too in this in this spot while we're in this video. Sour Patch Kids is another thing I use at the barbershop location. Uh, don't need any of those for this video, so we're not gonna buy any, but we're just gonna kinda go up and down the snack aisles, and then we'll go take a look at the soda aisles. So in this next aisle here at my Sam's Club, this is where you'll find all your pastries. So obviously there's Little Bites, there's Hostess stuff, there's Honey Buns, we're gonna do those. Uh, for this location so we're going to grab some of those for sure but look at that guys it's 5.98 for a 12 pack roughly 48 cents i think at the time um per honey bun and we sell them for a dollar 25 a piece so it's not a bad profit margin on those for sure um, there's the glazed honey buns but i'm just going to go with the regular old honey buns here in these 12 packs now again these are by duchess which is uh, the brand i guess not a brand name i'm super familiar with they, i've only seen them here at sam's club uh, but other things they do have are things like um, donuts, there's the cinnamon rolls there. Um, we're getting into the gum section next. And uh, we're just kind of, like I said, we're checking around, we're looking at prices. I do need to find something kind of skinny to fit in the one column that's got those little half coils in it. So we're gonna try gum because I don't really know what else to put in there right now. So I'm gonna grab a, a thing of juicy fruit here from Wrigley's. Again, not sure if that's gonna be the ultimate long-term solution for that spot, but it's what I'm gonna use for this time around, maybe in the future we'll try Mentos. We also do Starburst in those as well. So not too bad. So it looks like our trip row is pretty busy. So we'll have to come back to that row. Let's go up the next row and let's see what's here. Uh, some other good things in this row. Let's see. Uh, there's uh, some of the pirate booty there. Um, those all those different cookies there on the right, those are all kind of bulk, like yeah, big boxes and the graham crackers and stuff. So nothing much in this aisle that's going to be good for vending machines. Um, those are all crackers and different stuff. Again, those are really kind of in sleeves and not really bundled or labeled for individual resale. So in this row though, we got some different cookie things. We got some Lance crackers, um, goldfish do pretty well. Um, obviously the, the Lance crackers there. You don't want those goldfish there on the left. You want the ones in the individual boxes. Um, the grandma's cookies here though, those are, I've seen a lot of vendors have success with those. I've personally never tried those in my machines. Uh, but I do the crackers, these Lance crackers here on the, on the right. 
And of course, there's Cheez-Its. Um, those are always a staple in vending machines. You gotta have those. They sell really well in all my machines. Uh, there's those Wise packs. Look at those guys. So these are the Wise Original Chips, the Cheese Doodles, the Barbecue, the White Cheddar Popcorn, and the Sour Cream and Onions. So we're gonna grab, looks like two of those in this video. Uh, because those go so well at all of our different locations. And as we're going to find out, this location that we're shopping for does really well with that white cheddar popcorn. Ultimately, I might have to go with those right there, which I know was tough to see, but those smart food boxes. We might have to go with those because it's getting kind of challenging to keep the white cheddar popcorn stocked up because the, it, the Wise Packs are coming with less and less in them now for the white cheddar popcorn. So it is what it is. Maybe we'll move on to the smart food sometimes too. In this row, there's not a whole lot that I like to look at on uh, the trail mix sometimes. I think the beef jerky is in this row too, which we might do in a future video. Um, let's see, back to this row. I think we've already looked at some of this stuff here, but there's different variety packs right here. Yeah, there's a variety pack there. Um, the goldfish, those are in bulk, so we can't use those. Uh, what else is over here? Just kind of looking around. You never know what you're going to find. And every time I come, it seems like things are different there's you know new items to choose from there's other things like that uh sorry for the poor camera work here too um this row here a lot of times has cookie variety packs like that i use those sometimes um here's some nutter butters those might do pretty well uh here's looks like um a couple more different types of variety packs different things cookies mainly in that area um a lot of times that's where we'll get to our um famous amos cookies usually are usually right around there um there's some M&M cookies. Those might do pretty well. There's the famous Amos like I was talking about. And then there's some soft batch cookies too. So all those things you can see, there's a lot of selection, a lot of variety at Sam's Club compared to Costco and compared to what we saw at BJ's Wholesale. If I have to rate the three, I'd say Sam's Club is number one, for me anyway. Uh, BJ's Wholesale number two, and then Costco number three when it comes to vending. Now, obviously Costco's got some great stuff, but my Costco has none of this stuff for vending. So I actually let my Costco membership lapse. All right, back to the next section. This is where we've got our individually sealed um, Pop-Tarts, which we just, we just walked by. There's the Rice Krispie Treats we use. Um, I'm looking at now, I'm looking at granola bars because one of the employees at the location requested granola bars. So I'm looking to see what might work. Typically, I don't do things like that because they just don't sell very well. But this one particular employee said he had some sort of health issue and he could only eat certain things and he wanted granola bars. So, you know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to honor his request. We're going to try these uh, Nature Valley Crunchy Granola Bars here. Oats and honey. We're going to try these out. We're going to see how they do. Now, of course, if you've watched some of our other videos, you can see they don't really sell that well. He seems to like the Rice Krispie Treats a lot better and he buys a lot of those. But here we go. There's neutral grain bars over here. There's all kinds of stuff. When there are cliff bars, this is where we find it, but I don't think I'm going to buy in those anymore either. Um, so we've got a couple things in the cart. Typically, and it's tough to do because I'm, I'm actually filming with my cell phone, but typically when I shop at Sam's Club, I use the Scan and Go app. So if you don't know what the Scan and Go app is, it's a great little app that basically as you're walking around, you're, you're in the Sam's Club app, you go to the Scan and Go section and you can actually scan the barcode of each item you're purchasing and it puts it in your cart and then when you're ready to check out, you just slide and show your phone on the way out. You don't have to go through, you don't have to wait in the lines for the cashiers. You don't have to do the self-checkout. You just scan and go. It's really easy. So let's take a look at some of these drinks and I'm always kind of looking to see what's out there is what might go well in the machines. These are a lot of fruit beverages, juices, things like that over here. Um, there's a lot of waters on that side. When we do the waters, we usually go with those Aquafinas. Uh, but the, a lot of these are variety packs, and you know my my thing about variety packs. I don't really like to use them with drinks because I only like to do one type of drink in like a column, so to speak. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next row. A lot of this is two liters. Here's going to be some energy drinks. As you can see, we got Red Bull there. We got some iced teas. We got um, lots of different Red Bulls. Um, there's your brisk iced tea, there's peach tea, green tea, here's more Snapples and Bang Energy, um, other teas on this side, Yahoo or Yoohoo, whatever it is. Um, here's some more monster stuff, LaCroix, I think that's called over there, different monster variety packs, there's the regular green monsters, um, lots of stuff in the energy drink aisle, obviously. 
Uh, there's all the Gatorades. As you can see, at that time, they had some reds and some blues. Again, more variety packs, but here is the soda aisle. So we got mini cans. We've got, once we get past the mini cans, we've got regular cans. There's a variety pack with Fagos with different other things. There's Dr. Pepper cubes. Uh, there's the Coke cardboard trays. They, I wish they put those in cubes too. That's kind of hard to carry around, but we've got bottles of Coke and Sprites. Here's Pepsi cubes, Diet Pepsi cubes, Mountain Dew cubes, Mountain Dew bottles, Diet Pepsi bottles, all kinds of great stuff. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, this was Sam's Club, and as you can tell, it's my favorite spot for shopping for vending merchandise. Uh, better than BJ's Wholesale, better than Costco for sure. Sam's Club is where I do my shopping. Of course, I go to grocery stores and other things like that too, but Sam's Club is where I go for the majority of my stuff. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget it's Arcade Pinball Vending Coin up at All Things Cool Auction Week. Make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified for the new videos and the live streams as they happen. Smash that like button to give us a, th a thumbs up. And of course, thanks so much for watching our video, guys. All right, with that said, it's time to wrap this video up. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.